Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked and today I will make the fourth episode of Top 5 Wicked Stuff regarding the top 5 custom kernels for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Of course, a disclaimer is needed before I get into the video. The following standing which you will see is not ordered as from the worst to the best kernel because there is not such thing as the best kernel, the perfect kernel since every one of them has its ups and downs. The standing is sorted purely in a chronological way so that you will see the time and the validity of the test. Bear in mind that the video will contain cuts. I don't have any reason to lie or to hide bad results, but the battery on my camera setup won't last that long in order to record every single step. The kernels which I'll test today are Besta kernel, Omega kernel, Jesse kernel, Notorious kernel, and finally Pikaka kernel. The testing methods I chose are mostly related to day-to-day -day usage. I will be connected to the same Wi-Fi network, having the same brightness level, screen resolution will be set to full HD+, stock kernel settings without any modification caused by programs and of course they will be cleanly installed with cache dalvik wipe so that won't be any residue left from other kernels with each one of them i will do an antutu benchmark test which will obviously test the performance and will also serve as a 3d game test then i will play a 5 minute long sequence of a 1080p video on youtube and finally at the end i will open up my mostly used apps to replicate the usual opening times of the apps at the beginning between every stage and at the end i will show you the battery percentage so that you can make an Idea of which is more battery friendly. If you don't know how to install a custom kernel on your Samsung Galaxy S8, then follow the video in the card section. Take in mind that this comparison costed me a lot of time, so if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. So without further ado, let's get wicked. Okay, so I will start with the first kernel, which is Badstock kernel. Into TWRP, I installed it, then installed Majisk, and then, as I told you, cleared Cache and Dalvik. Don't look at the time displayed in TWRP, it's messed up. The phone successfully booted up, and of course, for each kernel, I will show you in software information that I'm currently running it, so that won't be any dots. So, with Badstock kernel, the time is currently 1622 and the battery percentage is showing 50%. Of course, before I open up into the benchmark, I cleared all the apps and the 3D testing began. At the end of the benchmark, this is the score it got, the time shows 1628 minutes and 47% battery left. That means currently a drain of 3% in 6 minutes. It got 1629 when I started the YouTube 1080p playback test and at 16 1633 was when um, the test was finished and uh, when I got into the app opening and multitasking section the battery showed 46%. The kernel test finished at 1634 and the battery percentage was still showing 46%. Here you have the stats for Badstock kernel. And to score, the test started at 1622, ended at 1634. The battery percentage dropped from 60% to 46%. That means 4% in 12 minutes, approximately 20% per hour. In this state, the battery will be dead in approximately 5 hours. Of course, with intensive usage and no screen off. That was the result for Besta kernel. Let's get to the second one. Omega kernel is a custom kernel which was released almost a week ago, so there is a lot of room for improvement. Again, the same installation process in TWRP. This time, the kernel comes with Majisk integrated in the package. Finally, again, wiped Cache and Dalvik and went for the rebooting process. Boot it up and um, let me show you again in the kernel section that I'm running Omega kernel version 1. Point zero. When I started the benchmark, the time was 16.57 and uh, the battery percentage showed 53% since I charged it up for a little bit. At the end, this is the score it got and the time shows 15.03 and 50% battery left. Again, a drop of 3% during the benchmark. At 17.04, I started the YouTube playback test and again after 5 minutes, the time shows 15.03. 09 and the battery percentage was at 49% neck and neck with the best of kernel until now opening app and multitasking test and after a minute at 1710 when the test was finished the battery percentage showed 48% so here you have the stats for omega kernel and to score the test started at 1657 finished at 1710 battery percentage dropped from 53% to 48% and that means 5% lost in 30 minutes approximately 23% lost in one hour and that means that in these testing conditions the device will be off from 100% to 0% in less than 5 hours. Next up, Jesse's kernel. Again, the same installation process, we'll just fast forward it. I'll show you the sector information section in about phone, so that everything will be again legit. The time I started the test was 17.18 and uh, the battery percentage showed 45%. Opened up onto the benchmark and ran a test again. At the end, time was 17.23 and this is the score it got. Also, the battery percentage seems to have dropped harder at 41% than the two previous 
previous kernels in the benchmark section. At 1724, I started the playback test on YouTube again 1080p for 5 minutes, and at the end of it, the time was 1729, and only 40% of the battery was left. So, to sum up, here are the stats for Jesse's kernel on my test. Started at 1718, ended at 1729. After 11 minutes of testing, the, per the battery percentage dropped from 45% to 40%. That means that in an hour, chances are that you'll lose a little bit over 25%. So, that your device will last less than 4 hours on this continuously testing method. Into the next one. Notorious kernel now. The same installation procedure, this kernel comes with Aroma Insular though, which is pretty neat and will uh, let you choose between Super SU and Magisk routing method. As I told you, since every kernel was tested with Magisk root, Magisk it goes. Then I manually cleared cache and Dalvik and rebooted. This kernel can be controlled by Mthwix app, but as I told you, I will run this test with the stock kernel settings. No tweaks, no mods, no whatsoever, just the default state it comes with. Some of them may be overclocked by default, some of them may not, but I will test the default state again, bearing that in mind. At the beginning, the time showed 1745 and the battery percentage was at 40%. Let's get into the benchmark test. At the end, I was really surprised to see a red score, which means it was pretty low compared to the latest ones. The time was 1751 and the battery percentage went down to 36%. Open up the YouTube playback test at 1080p and after 5 minutes, incredibly, the battery percentage stayed untouched at 36%. This is really impressive. When the app opening time and multitasking test was over at 1757, the battery percentage finally dropped at 35%. So the final stats will look like this. Then to score, the time when I started the test showed 1745 and at the end 1757. That means in 12 minutes the battery got drained by 5% of its juice. Almost 25% lost in one hour and that means your device will die in almost 4 hours of heavy usage. Finally, we've come to an end with Picaca kernel, which I think has some massive overclock on board. The same installation and clearing junk procedure from previous kernels and the same final booting process. Again, as you can see, I'm running Picaca kernel on kernel version and the test starts at 11.07 with 31% of battery left in my device. Powered up and to the benchmark and at the end this is the final score it got. You can see it's pretty high compared to the other ones. That may be a sign of the CPU being overclocked by default. I could be wrong though since the battery drain doesn't seem to be affected. The time shows 18.13 and uh, there's 28% battery left on my Galaxy S8. Let's proceed to the YouTube playback test and see how it goes. At 18.18 the percentage dropped 1% compared to the last step so it's now at 27%. After the app opening time and multitasking test the device showed 20 26% battery left. So again, the test started at 1807, ended at 1818, and uh, the battery was drained again 5% in 11 minutes. That means more than 25% in one hour and less than 4 hours battery life time per cycle. Taking mind the impressive and to score it got, it seems legit to eat more battery. Anyways, we've come to an end, and these are all the stats collected from these 5 kernels tested today. It took a hell of a lot of time to process this video, so make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Here, I will end the fourth episode of Top 5 Wicked Stuff. Thanks for watching. Until next time, as always, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.